Hi there, welcome to the university. My name is China and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about what International Business Administration has to offer. Hey! Hey China! So, where are we right now? We're in the stress room, the study association for IM and IBA. What does stress do for EBA students? We represent all the students and help them if they've got problems with their study. We organize all kinds of fun activities for them and also career activities uh, for them to get in touch with companies where they can possibly work. Cool. Kimberly, why did you choose to study IBA at the UT? Well, one of the reasons I chose to study here is because there is a lot of company context. Mm -hmm. So for projects, we often visit companies uh, to see real life practice. And what do you think makes EBA really stand out? Well, I could explain, but how about we ask a teacher? Now we're at your room's office. Hi, Ren. Hi, Jana. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes International Business Administration so outstanding? Sure, well I think there are two things that make us outstanding. So on the one hand we really look at how uh, digital technologies are impacting business. So we really add the human touch to the high tech. But on the other hand, students also work together with companies. So they really run real life projects and real life companies to experience what this all looks like. Thanks Ren. Uh, you're welcome. lecture rooms but today we don't have any lectures so let's just keep moving <laughs> so Raphael what's your favorite thing to do on campus well every week I do ballroom dancing at the Four Happy Feet Association and also part of the volleyball association that's really cool and what about those of us who maybe aren't so sporty there are a lot of cultural events that are planned by the associations, just like, for example, a holy festival. Yeah, and we have a ton of associations, and there's something for everyone. So now I'm here with my friends, and we're going to study a little bit and work on a project together. Daisy, what has International Business Administration prepared you for in the future? I think EBA study really showed me that I'm interested in HR, and I'm proud to say that I have a job waiting for me back um, once I'm done with my study, doing HR, and hopefully in the future I'll receive a master's degree in it. What are you planning to do after you finish International Business? After I'm done, I think I'll study something in the area of purchase supply chain management. That's what I'm really interested in. But what about you, China? Um, I'm specifically looking at management and leadership, um, perhaps in the airline industry because I have family connections there, but also doing a master first. So that's enough for one day. I think it's time to go get some food. Besides just the international student body and staff, we also send students internationally a lot. So Leah, can you tell us a little bit about your international experience? So I actually went to the United States, to Orlando, to do a internship in a sports company. And Daisy, you also went abroad, didn't you? Yeah, I went to Scotland to study there and I had the chance to do more HR and also meet hundreds of new people. From all the different countries, we hope you'll join us. From Bulgaria, Divisione. From Germany, Tschüss. From Brazil, Atemais. And from the United States, see you later. Oh, wait a second. I would like to show you something. If you still have any questions left, please contact the Study Information Center.